We have this idea in the writing community that finishing a book and particularly releasing a book is the absolute pinnacle of success. When we're just getting started as writers, all our focus is on finishing that first draft. Then of course we have to finish the edits, the beta reads, maybe we look for an agent and an editor and a publisher, but all of this is working towards releasing the book so that other people can read it. And when we reach this point, everything is supposed to be perfect. The heavens open, angels sing, our careers are made. But what happens if you reach that point and your book is out there in the world and you just don't feel like celebrating? This is one of those things that I have experienced multiple times as an indie author. It came up again this week because on Friday the 19th of March, I released another book. It was in fact my 10th book and it was the fourth in a now completed series. So a major milestone, there is no getting around that. I'm certainly very pleased that it's out there. I'm very happy with the book, I'm glad the series is wrapped up, I'm glad my readers can finally read it. There is immense satisfaction in finishing a series. But have I felt this immense overwhelming joy? Did I want to break out a bottle of wine? No, quite honestly. There are so many reasons this can happen. Some of them are purely practical, particularly if it's your first book, whether you are traditionally published or indie, you might be worried about the reviews coming in and read a reaction. You might be worried about hitting deadlines for a pre-order if you're an indie author or whether there's anything you missed in the publication process that's going to cause problems. You may also, by the time the book comes out, be working on something else. There is an extremely long lead time in traditional publishing, but even as an indie, you may have finished the book weeks or months before, uploaded it ready for readers, and then moved on. By the time release day rolls around, you are completely invested in something else, or you are too stressed by the launch itself, you are desperately watching your sales numbers, you're watching reviews come in, you're interacting with readers. All of these different aspects can suck out the fun and excitement of a release. But maybe none of these things is true for you and yet you still don't really enjoy it. This is one of those things that I found can happen at any stage in the writing process. It could, for example, come at the end of finishing your first draft. Everyone around you who's finished a draft is going out for dinner or buying themselves a present, whereas you just feel deflated. This honestly is how I have felt over the last week or 10 days. Something that should be massively exciting and exhilarating has just become meh. And I feel like we're maybe not supposed to admit to this as writers because we are supposed to share in the excitement of releasing a book, but sometimes that's just really hard to do. For me, there have been all sorts of factors going into this. Partly, I am just stressed by other things going on in my life and getting this book up for pre-order and off my plate just felt like a relief. It was one less thing to worry about. But there is a bigger issue of creativity going on here as well. This was the final book in a series. Four books and a short novella, maybe a novelette prequel. I have been working on the series in some form or another for nearly a decade. Now, I will not say this series is the absolute most important thing I've ever written. It started off as just some good fun, something to get me back into writing after a bit of a slump. I continued writing it in that spirit. I always wanted it to be fun and fast paced and easy to read and easy to write. And yet when you've been working on something for so long, it is inevitable that it worms its way into your heart. I deeply care about these characters and their world and their situation. I've been writing about them for a very long time. It's important to care, of course, because then hopefully your readers will care too. 
But this is where that sense of deflation comes in. Whether it's a single book or a series, after weeks and months and years of working on it, you're suddenly not working on it. And that is a very strange feeling. In my case, I have made the decision that this is going to be the last book in the series, which means that I have spent a decade getting to know these characters who very much feel like real people at this point. And then I have literally just shut the door on them. There is some comfort in feeling that I've given them a good ending and that they are going on in a sense to live on their own without my input. But it still feels like saying goodbye to old friends, which makes releasing that final book not quite as exciting as it perhaps could be. So what do you do to get over this slump? Honestly, I have spent about a week, 10 days, just wallowing in it a bit. I had this whole list of little admin tasks I wanted to get done. Social media posts, sending out newsletters, updating my website, formatting some paperbacks for a different book, so on and so on. I have made some progress on those tasks, but nowhere near as much as I could have done. Instead, I have spent a lot of time going on walks, reading books, just sitting around listening to music. Finishing a book or a series can feel a bit like a loss. It's not exactly real grief. It's not like losing someone close to you, but it is losing something. And I don't think it's melodramatic to say that. So whilst I never intended to take this week to process that feeling, I inadvertently did so. And then the other big thing for me is always getting back to work. Now, in previous years, when I have finished a book, I have sometimes quite literally opened the file for the next one. Obviously, I didn't do that this time, but I have started to build up to other things. All the time I was finishing the steampunk book that I've just released, I was working on other things in the background. So now I have just brought them forward and put more of my attention onto them. I am drafting other books, I am getting ready to edit something that I wrote last year. And as I said, I'm doing these little admin tasks like learning how to format paperbacks in some new software and doing some proofreading of some smaller stories. And I think if you are struggling with this same thing, this sense of deflation or letdown from releasing a book, I think getting back to work is really important because it reminds you why you started doing this in the first place. But at the same time, I think it is important to remember that this doesn't have to be the big celebration that everyone makes it out to be. It doesn't have to be all sunshine and roses. You've reached that big hyped release day. Everyone expects you to be on top of the world, but you don't have to be. Whatever you feel about your own work and the release of your book is perfectly valid. You might be absolutely thrilled to take part in online release parties or a book tour or sending out a joyous email to your fans. Or maybe all you want to do is curl up in an armchair with a book for a week. I think for me, just accepting that I didn't have to spend a week full on celebrating made me feel a lot better. So if you have ever felt this sense of deflation from finishing or releasing a book, I would love for you to tell me about it in the comments. How did you get past it? Did it completely take you by surprise? Were you expecting to love every part of the process and then felt a bit let down. I am, as ever, here to chat with you, but also now that I am coming to terms with the fact that this final book in the series is out there in the world, I also have to get back to work. So keep writing, everyone, and I'll see you next time.